Are we back? Are we back? Fantastic. Internet's getting less and less reliable. Cool. Wasn't just me. No, we're getting... We're getting an F like this like twice a week now at least. And bloody-tastic. We just have to cross our fingers and hope it, hope it doesn't kill the stream entirely. Okay. Uh, let's continue, shall we? Kind of lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, we were looking at batteries and thinking we, we probably need to increase this at some point. How many prods do we have? 17... 10 speeds... Quite a lot of efficiencies. Um, another 39 prods sitting here, so that's over a stack. Not bad, not great. I think we put efficiencies on hold for now. Yeah, we did. Alright, what's our ETA? One minute. Cool. Wait, is that one minute to... the Laraphon orbit? Fantastic. We should probably start planning... where we want to place our space elevator. GPS equals... Zero, zero, Bellerophon Orbit. Fantastic. And... Uh, where's my... Here it is. Snap to zero, zero. Okay. So there's stuff in the way. Not too surprising. Uh, and where is that? Over here. Just magic the trees out of the way. Looks like it is just trees and like one rock. Hopefully there's no biters in range. Doesn't look like it. Not too surprising considering uh, it's like 7% biter threat. Alright, so maybe now we can place our elevator. Uh, that's not it. Snap to zero, zero. Still something on the surface. Alright. Hopefully that's enough. One more try. Uh, keep, why do I keep going there? Oh, Nestor bounce. Zero, zero. Uh, looks like that's it. Cool. And we need to steal from, say, Bombato orbit. To see where all this fits. Which one did I just... Bombato is five, so it must be this one. Okay. Wait, where are you going? Stop, 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 stop. Why is our destination abyssal orbit? Uh, we set our target to planet orbit 405, which sent us here. Why did we bounce off and go to abyssal orbit? Bellerophon. I'm kind of curious as to how that happened. Koala, indeed. That's cheating? No, no it, it's in the game. It's fine. 
bluesy jungle, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Alright. So our ETA is like 7 seconds. Planet Orbit 405 shouldn't change anything when we get there. Larifon Orbit. Why? Where is Abyssal Orbit? It's a moon orbit. Abyssal Orbit is 810 which I saw on the automation signal. Um, Larifon Orbit. Engage. There's nothing but Planet Orbit 405 here. Where is it getting this from? What? That's so weird. If distance signal is negative one, output everything. Everything being planet orbit 405 and whatever we're getting from the spaceship console signal output. I don't see why we would get moon orbit 810 out of it at any point in that sequence. All we're doing is going to Bellerophon... And then once we get there, we output this and whatever this is. Um, I'm sure if I changed this to output planet orbit, we wouldn't have this problem. But, like, obviously we don't want to be changing that every single time. We've never had this problem before, either. What the hell? Planet, uh, Valerifon Orbit. Planet Orbit 405, that's our destination. Our distance is 67, speed negative 1, asteroid density 100, and spaceship console number 235. Now putting any of those back to the spaceship console, uh, shouldn't, shouldn't change anything. If we're feeding it the same, uh, wait, what? Oh, hold on. So these two added up a planet orbit 810, but that shouldn't matter because planet orbit 810 should be invalid. Abyssal orbit is moon orbit 810. I, I've i never seen it take in, like, okay, if, if, if there is a planet 404 and we try to feed it, pl uh, like, planet orbit 404, there's no duplicates like that. It goes, like, planet, or planet 404, planet orbit 405, all of these are unique, uh, not just unique combinations of number and symbol. So, like, Moon Orbit 810. Are you telling me... If we say Planet Orbit 810 instead of Moon Orbit 810, it changes it to Abyssal Orbit. I've never seen that anywhere else. Like, what's Hagen Orbit? 1180? Uh, yeah, Moon... Moon Orbit 1180. If we say Planet Orbit 1180, it actually does change it to Hagen Orbit. Is this actually just, like, the first time we've... run into a situation where... If we double the planet orbit, or moon orbit, or whatever, it just happens. 
to give a valid destination. Uh, maybe that's it? Well, whatever the case, I'm glad we're not, um... I'm glad we're not running spaceships to this place, because they would just be turning around for no apparent reason with our automation system. Okay. You know what I think I didn't bring? Arco link chests. I, I'm I'm pretty sure I didn't actually bring Arco link chests. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and It's killer. fine. We'll 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 set up some infrastructure while we're here first. Mike Lat, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you guys. I suppose. <sighs> Alright. Um so we want to park about here. We want to place all of our infrastructure about here. And be sad that there's a little rock over here. I suppose. Well, you're the bearer of overconfidence, so what can I say? Uh, what number are we up to? For the, uh, for the outposts. The last one we did was Zakol, I think. Zakol is 23, that sounds about right. Nope, we did Amadeo. I don't remember doing Amadeo. <laughs> Oh, that's not good. Uh, so Amadeo is 24, this is going to be 25. Actually, that goes there. And that goes there. And then that would go there, I think. Just reminding you, indeed. Okay. Uh, and this is not Bombato, this is Bellerophon. Which is... How many characters? Eleven. That looks right. Five on each side of the R. Uh, cool, except I just realized we're going to have to copy-paste this again. I hope it doesn't mess up the text. Wait, could I just get rid of the gold text plates? There we go. And this over here. And this again. Okay, uh, and apparently we need some storage. Cool. Petrie Cottontail, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, how many spellovator cables did we bring? Like 3,000? Cool. And we're going to need to go back for the Arcospheres. You know, it's going to take so long for the space elevator cables to get sorted that we should probably just start flying back now. How many is this? 800? Wow. We need like almost half of the space elevator cables that we brought just to get this thing started. That's kind of rough. Alright, once the bots have finished moving the space elevator cables, we'll fly back, I guess. Don't want to leave this many construction bots behind, though. Why 
I-51. Can I pick up one Logibot? There we go. Okay. Back to the mall, I suppose. That's weird. I thought we needed storage chests. Oh, did they use this one? Yeah. Uh, moon orbit... 1180. And via Phonestra. Otherwise, we're going to be flying a very, very long time. Terribellus. I'm going to nickname it Terminus. All right. While we're flying back, mining prod is not churning because we're short on Deep Space 4. Well, that's always going to be expensive. Deep Space 4 is actually getting made right this instant. It's cer certainly terrible. Oh no. Welcome in Glacier Wolf. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Alright. What little errands can we run remotely? We don't have any prod nines in the mall, right? No. Otherwise, I would probably double our battery build now. I guess we could plan it out. I kind of want to fit... Yeah, I, I kind of want to double this under the same beacon if possible. Um, what if we even... have the machines run stuff into the exact same containers? Because how fast is this? 39 per second for a stack size of 200 is really not that much. Uh, this only stacks to 50, though, so the same 39 per second is pretty quick. But that's still okay. So we basically want to reverse this. Um, we can't flip with the chemical plants there. So just like this. How well is that going to work? It is going to work, potentially. Yeah. Okay. Except the power pole is in the way. We could maybe consider moving the power pole slightly if we're going to have our train tracks line up this elegantly. Uh, like this. Well, I don't think we really need the extra belt going through here, but I guess it has a certain symmetry. And then, same thing on the opposite side. Two tiles away. Except it won't snap to in the same way. Uh, and then... This would go here. And same deal... over here. Alright, I, gu I guess we can move the frickin' power pole just a little bit. Don't need to move the beacon. This is going to be exactly the same. Uh, might want to switch off the requests for when we start building it. And obvious 
signal is obvious. All right. And I guess we'll just put some prod fours in here for the moment and maybe make these slightly lower priority until we upgrade it. Should be easy for repair crews to move around. Right side is, is summer and not winter here. Indeed. Did your power tweak out on you again today? No, it wasn't power. We're just... Lately, we're getting... Uh kilobytes per second up to twitch just dropping to zero briefly sometimes i don't know why i haven't uh i haven't been so quick as to run a speed test when it does happen i guess i'll not that i'm hoping we see it again today but i guess i'll set that up I don't know if it's something to do with the ISP, or if someone's just uploading something. And of course there's no freaking balancing on the router or anything. Not sure why home routers are like that. It would seem to be the barest minimum of a feature. Uh, but yeah, I, th I think I'm happy with, uh, well, somewhat happy with expanding this like that. Let's bring the construction train over. Someone else's power. Oh, I see. Evil Plow, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Did we send that train on its merry way? We did. Are we starting to see trains chilling in the depot? Probably not. Nope. If it if it reaches five whole seconds without getting a job, then uh, we might have enough trains. As it is, it seems like we need more. Never enough. Maybe I should separate these two depots. It seems like there's a lot of traffic around here. Not that the short trains account for a lot of traffic, but still. Anyway, we're going to need some prod sixes in here. What are you doing? Why? Uh... I left this as marked for decon, so the bots jumped out to grab that as high as possible priority to make sure the cargo wagons are too full for them to do anything. Where did we put our construction spiders? Here we go. Or oh, decon spiders for now, I suppose. I just made three of them. 55, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Alright, is our de is our construction train actually going to get sorted out? I think so. Yeah, it might take a little while. But it should come back properly reloaded and balanced and stuff. Where's our spider? We don't have any speedy... speedy legs on these construction spiders, sadly. Maybe I should swap out one of the RTGs for speedy legs. But then, you know we're gonna bottleneck on the bots recharging... ...once they actually get there to do something. Looks like this will be more than enough. They're taking longer than I thought they would, though. Nope, that's enough. Fantastic. Construction train is on the case. And... 
and we should be back at Hagen in about six minutes. Alright, we finally got this built. I'm just going to set this to priority minus one. Just because we get um, less productivity bonus out of it. Also, if we see this stuff actually get uh, serviced by the trains, then we know we're probably not doing that badly. The train count. Alright. Back to the mall with you. How fast are these? Wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. Missed some cables. Uh, I mean belts. Cables for solid items. There we go. That should be it. Hab trains... Even can trains even pass there? Uh, yes, yes, they can. See, no path to. There's a piece of rail missing. <laughs> uh. Well, normally they'd be able to. Cables for solid items, indeed. Welcome in, Glacier Wolf. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. I didn't say so earlier. My brain is a overcooked pile of fuzzy. Gazownik, welcome in. You are missing the middle tracks. Yes, yes indeed. Sass, welcome in also. Alright. I don't even need to put a inactivity timer. That'll get done. And I imagine we've already got six trains lined up to come here. One, two, three, four, five with the no paths. We can't be doing that badly on trains if we've already got five trains scheduled to drop off where we put negative priority. Below normal priority. Yeah, so how fast is this under the beacon? 19 per second... Yeah, n none of this is going to be like inserter or belt bottlenecked or anything. Even though it should be... It actually... It consumes more and spits out less. Look at that. Rod 9s consumes 11, 11, and 110 to make 19.8 lithium sulfur batteries per second. It's the exact same stats, except double the sulfuric acid for the regular batteries. Uh, and with the Prod 6s under the same beacon, consume 12.2, 12.2, 122, and it spits out 19.032. We're paying more for less, and, like, it, weirdly, the productivity bonus overtakes the negative speed. Neg speed is negative 35% per prod module 6. Negative 50% of base per prod module 9. Productivity bonus 20 versus 14. It's kind of wild. Anyway, now we should actually start to see batteries... How is... Ah... Uh, ah la la la. Um... This counts as being on a curve. So the... The pump on this side doesn't pick it up. I guess we could... Since we've got room on this side, we could just swap it out for a huge storage. Are we almost home? Kinda, yeah. Alright. Construction train, park yourself over here again. 
Um, got a huge storage tank here. Turn these off. That's a little bit annoying. But yeah, uh, the the end of the fluid wagons with the space locomotive just barely on the corner uh, doesn't connect, but anywhere else on the fluid wagon would connect. Okay, so what we're going to do is push all of... Well, oh, hold on. Push all of this sulfuric acid into the huge container. Put pumps here. And then I guess this will do. That's fine. We don't really need more containers here. And then same thing over here. And we will link them again because why not? do tell LTN what we've got here. We probably just scheduled a whole bunch more trains. No, we had this switched off. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. That works. Easy enough to fix. Now, can we get some iron over here? Surely there's an iron train just waiting. Yeah, there is. Or two. Okay. We'll check on that in a couple of minutes. I'm sure it's going to be fine. We need to go get some more Arco Link chests. What's with these bots? Nothing? Okay, cool. And for that, we'll borrow this train. Park over here. I wonder... whoops. I wonder where our science is. That's weird. I could have sworn... Maybe I just misremembered how much we had in storage here. So we're waiting on threes. And as is often the case, we're waiting on Naquim Tesseracts. How are we doing for actual Naquium? Because I saw that was limited before. I think I was considering doubling this. Because Naquium cubes weren't coming out fast enough. It looks like we've got tons of plate. Downstairs, ingots are not super healthy, I guess. Not terrible. I don't know. Since we have that much plate, I'm guessing it's not too bad. This thing eats ingots directly, and it's satisfied. That's the only, the only thing besides turning ingots into plate. Um, but yeah, I think we're making Naquium cubes too slowly now. We've only got eight machines? Uh, how fast is this? Relative? Plus 161 Naquium plate per second. So we shouldn't really duplicate this. Uh, maybe we should just spam a whole bunch of Naquium cube makers. Over here. How fast are we making them? 
3.2 per second, 192 per minute. And consumption at peak has been like 383 per minute, 447. We're making 192. Okay, what about the area under the graph though? Like the average. I think it's still significantly higher than what we're able to make right now. Maybe. I thought we calculated that this was enough, but it might not be. And it's only like eight more machines, so why don't we just duplicate this? Well, it could be more than eight, but I imagine doubling it should be overkill. It'll also be a, a bit more symmetrical. Okay. Um, that doesn't go anywhere, but we could make it go somewhere. Let's head over there right after we do the... Whoops. Right after we make these chests. Gonna need 20 lambdas. Phrase Symmetria. Indeed, indeed. Uh, I guess let's send the floor train over already. Do we have another eight fabs lying around? Yes, we do. That's a lot. That reminds me, I don't think force field. There's no electromag field data. I, th I think force fields have been too slow. Now it looks like the prerequisite is too slow. Uh, electromag field data. Inputs are looking saturated. We could probably expand the storage here, but that's not the whole story. Uh, the trouble is it's got two fluid inputs and one fluid output, so we can't put them super close together. We could if the game would let us, like, mirror the fluid input outputs for some of these. Well, we can make it a little bit denser. Yeah, we can actually only fit eight machines under a beacon here. Sixteen if we were going to make it a lot wider. Uh, but how fast is this? 4.75 per second, but it goes directly into science. And then it has prerequisites, right? So it should be at least double that. Yeah, it goes into catalogs. And it goes into... Force field data only comes out at 50%. Also, magnetic monopole data. So this thing should probably be like... 10 per second, or like 8 to 10 per second or something. At least. To satisfy our final goal. So we probably want to make another one of these. Ah, so many things. Alright, did we get our lambdas? We did. Let's go back to the mall. Thought I saw trains slacking off in the depots, which would be a good thing, but no. Oh! Hey! Someone got some downtime. Not sure how long that was, but it wasn't nothing. That suggests that we'll eventually, or if we haven't already, 
will basically catch up to keeping up with everything with the trains. That is a lot of batteries. 77 per second. If that's not enough... Well, I, I already know it's enough for lithium sulfur. If it's not enough for regular batteries, I'm going to be a little... a little sad. Oh. And we're picking up modules as well. 51 prods. Naisu. I'll take that. Actually, I might leave them in the mall because we have no use for them out in the sticks. Uh, and I certainly don't want to die with them in my pocket or something. Alright. Arcosphere Lambda, go. Two Arco Link chests, please. Have you played with the Transport Drones mod? I think I have. Uh, is that the little, the little tiny trucks that you have to build roads for? They're pretty easy. It's like an easy peasy train system, kind of. Uh, I do want to sort out this build before we go. Do we have any... Do we have any fabs in the train? I don't think so. We only need like eight, right? There we go. And mark over here. And I might just, uh, as long as we're doing this, I might just sneak these two belts. Oh, they're actually opposite. The vulcanite blocks are on the opposite side on each belt. I was going to say, if we're going to, like, bring this up through here and thread it back this way and down this way, maybe we could run them through a splitter. So that we do a merge and split and don't end up having trouble with imbalanced output here. But that's, uh, that's not going to cut it. Physically, super slow belts here, so it doesn't matter how long the belt is. So it's going to be similar to this. Turn it around the other way. Actually, that might end up looking super wonky. Can we... finagle it a little bit? For Symmetria? Somehow? Okay, this is going to have to have at least this many tiles over here. And this one would go here. Really? Deep space belts are a little disappointing. <laughs> Compared to, uh... Compared to the purple belts. Okay. We're gonna want the plate. Uh... I guess we could just add a splitter up here or something for the plate. Well, that was faster than I thought it would be. Is 
No, don't pick up the Naquium plate. I'm pretty sure it's so slow that just one belt to all of these should be fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's not that slow, though. I guess we're doing the same thing here. And then... Why don't we just do this? I guess we'll just add some plate over here. Alright. This hole looks weird. I don't mind that one weirdly enough. Alright. So we're going to want to turn around the, the input belt. Try and make it look nice and symmetrical. Hmm. Is that even possible? So that comes in here. Let's run the plate so that it's a bit clearer. Oh. What happened to all of our... I'm dumb. Alright, so all of these should get plate. And then we can see where the plate goes. So it's easy enough to make mistakes. And... Can we thread the input-output to look pretty much similar? I'm skeptical. I, I don't think this is good enough. Also, where would the output go? The output needs to have undergrounds down the middle. The heck is this? And it needs to end up over there. We'll just piggyback on this belt, because it's only 6.4 per second for the whole thing. Hmm. Yeah, I don't... I don't think we're getting away with it. But maybe I think we might have to move this back a little bit. Let's do the outputs first. So we know where we need to squeeze them in. Top two, bottom two, and this can go here. that part will be basically the same. Why 
Why is this one already on the right side? Whatever. Okay. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to move things. But this gives us a clearer idea. We've got the plate input, we've got the cube output. We just have to f somehow squeeze in the other two. Maybe I should just like swap these two around so that we could run them through a splitter. Instead of trying to fit, fit them through a splitter here. All right, so there's definitely not enough room. If we move the plate input back even one tile, we can make it work. But I don't want the construction bots from the train to have to pick all that up. So, like that. Except then this would have to move up and there wouldn't be room for this. Mm. That's a problem. It's really useful for mud packs. Little trucks on roads, yes. Yeah. Definitely simplifies things a bit. Man. I thought this would be like a five minute job. Turns out it's a little bit trickier. actually might not be possible the way I want to do it. Because if this goes here, then this has to go here, and then this doesn't work. We can't put an underground there or there. The only place for this is here, and there's the only place for this is here, and then if the plate input was moved up on this one, there wouldn't be room for the output over here. Hmm. I mean, we could... Send the belt straight across there, I guess. Feels like a crime. Makes it pretty easy, though. That would also mean we wouldn't have to move all of these up one.
so just like this. Wait, what? And this one is a bit simpler. Okay. And for outputs. Just do it straight across that. One, two, three, four. And I guess this could literally just just go across like this. A half belt is more than enough for the whole build, so... Alright, so same same, but slightly different on the other side. But for our outputs... I mean, I guess we could just go all the way out here. Feels bad. That looks terrible. further back can I bring this? Plenty. Alright. Really? That looks a little bit better. And of course we need fluid. Let's check all the solids are getting where they're supposed to though. Looks like the answer is yes. That's not too bad I guess. Wait what? This is nine tiles wide, so we've got a bunch of threes. And then... Space undergrounds only jump over five tiles. Uh, I guess here would have to do. That's all... that's pretty messy though. The undergrounds are in really awkward spots. Maybe we should connect this down here instead. And that's ten. Could make that a seven. And forget about this. What? More tiles.
There we go. Okay, is that running? Nope. Probably help if we had a connection right about here. And they should all be functional now. Beautiful. I don't hate this too much. In fact, the splitters over here are giving me more of a headache. And then we just trim away some of the spaceship floor. Spaceship floor? Space platform plating. Alright, give me all of this stuff that doesn't belong here back, please. Not that deep space belt doesn't belong in the train, but we don't want it in the wrong cargo wagon. God, if we could have uh, trash slots for the cargo wagons, we could blacklist everything that doesn't belong in that specific cargo wagon. Although it would be a pretty lengthy task. Especially whenever we change what we're putting in the train. But ultimately, I guess it could save a lot of time. Alright, back to the mall with you. And then... We'll trim some of this. That seems fine. And I guess we could get rid of some of that. Okay. I'm not super unhappy with that. And we've doubled our Aquium cubes. Cool. 385 per minute should be enough to saturate, assuming we don't run out of Naquim. Which is certainly where we may have just shifted the bottleneck to. Uh, we probably still only need the one space manufacturing to feed Naquim plate everywhere. Net 123 Naquim plate for the rest of upstairs. Uh, that's if we're constantly making Naquim cubes. Jamort, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, let's ride this train back home. And then we'll get back to our new outpost. Oh, hey. Secure canisters are saturated, which means... Well, it didn't necessarily mean mag canisters are saturated, but that's excellent. That traces back to Holmium Cable potentially being saturated one day. Although I'm not super optimistic just yet. Oh my. Quantum's, quantum processor storage is full. And this train is stuck trying to drop off Immersite crystal. Oops. How is it that we're only asking for 1.5 train loads? That's 450 stacks. Okay, yeah, that does make sense. Um, we can fit 320 stacks in one container. Hasn't been a problem yet, but that's not exactly optimal. We're dropping off three types of solids, so just putting filters on these and a limiter might not work. I guess... I guess if we do put filters on these,
Hmm. The stack sizes are different, right? 150, 50. What if we just turn off... What if we just turn off these belts if anything on this side... Oops. Uh, is greater than 50 stacks of 50. 2,500. If everything is less than 2,500, and that'll give a true outcome if there's no... Uh, if there's no inputs. It will mean we don't put as many blue circuits in the north uh, bulk rail unloader, but that should probably be fine. Okay. Can I get you to turn around? I can if you go into a dead end, but then you'll probably drop off. What about in here? And then come back to the drop off. There we go. It wasn't a problem when you were eating the processors. Yes, of course. Wait, there's still stuff in... Wait, what? How did we not... get turned around just now? Uh... Okay, tell you what, just, 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 just drop over here. It's fine. Actually... Maybe that can end up jamming the system. We'll see. We shall see. Alright, back to our spaceship. Why do I have a million... A million? Naquium accumulators. Alright, uh, this is fine for now. We have our ArcuLink storages. So let's head back to Terminus. And what was... Th Bellerophon. Wait, uh, what was the actual address for Bellerophon? Planet Orbit 405. And we're going to have to be careful here because... It's the one planet that we know of so far where for some reason when we actually get to the planet itself uh, it bounces back to Moon Orbit uh, 810. You'd think... Planet Orbit 810 wouldn't send us to Moon Orbit 810, but there it is. It will jam because you don't decide what you transport on the belt. Yeah, but we consume... Do we, do we consume them at the same ratio? Immersite crystal is stack size 50, processing unit is stack size 100. Those get consumed at the same stack ratio. Quantum phenomenomenom data gets consumed half as fast. I don't know. We'll, we'll just let it play out and see what happens, and it, it'll seem obvious in hindsight if it breaks, I guess. Feels really weird to see these Holmium cables saturated here. In a casual 
17,000 quantum processors. Fantastic. I'm dreading the day we really, really need to overhaul Arcosphere stuff again, though. Uh, I guess if I change this to planet orbit. No, no, that didn't help us. Yeah, we'll confirm this when we get there, but I'm pretty sure we sent planet orbit 840 through to here. And even though moon orbit 840 is a valid address, uh, that's where it sent us. So I don't think that's going to help. Oh, I forgot to fix the thing downstairs that would be easiest to do in person. Bruh. I guess it's never, ever, ever getting fixed. Let's check on batteries. Batteries seem to be starting to accumulate. That's fantastic. Right here represents uh, two cargo wagons full, as in enough to trigger a train delivery. It hasn't been ordered to be picked up for a whole... 50 stacks or so. Nice suit. Very nice suit indeed. Alright. I'm going to take a very short break since we need to travel anyway. And we'll be back in just a few minutes. I might not fire up words on streams. Oh, never mind, Veldex here. Busted. I was going to say I'm going to make it a quick break, but I guess we could do some words. It will jab. Uh, Dylan, welcome in, by the way. Link. There we go. Alright. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Mic muted. Thank you, Veldak. There is, again, name in word list. Name in word list. As in a name in words, in, words on stream. Uh, okay, yeah, I wanted to check, uh, theoretically, if we ever crank this all the way up, which I doubt. How much would we get? 380 erudite per second. That's a lot. But yeah, I was thinking of doing a build for erudite, kind of similar to what we've updated to with some of our other processing blocks. Or maybe it'll look a little bit more like barrel. Uh, we either do as many steps as possible in one block because we've got some high throughput, low stack size things. Um, that's definitely not as true here as it is with Vitamelange, but it might be worth doing. Or just a bunch of these builds that direct belt or direct pipe into each other. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. So the first step, I believe, was... Pulverizers, crushed iridite, turns into iridite, crushed iridite, and sand, so it has to recycle. 40% iridite, uh, we could maybe, instead of doing the swap chests, do the belt thing. Like we've been doing in some other places. Yeah, I'm definitely curious to see what that ends up looking like. We'll still do some train drop-offs, because there'll be some imbalances from one output to various inputs. And it might be easier to have some trains pick up the slack. Might not end up using them, though, because Iridite only stacks to 10. Damn. That is really, really small. Maybe we should forego trains entirely for Iridite itself. I mean, it does take only this long at half game speed to fill up a train, but still. The rate at which we're consuming the Iridite Tier 6 modules, as many pulverizers as we can fit in one block. Net rate of 198 per second, that's 20 stacks. So that's like a train every... Th every how long? It's like a train every 5 seconds, if it was trains only. And that's with tier 6. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to, like, just direct belt, I think, with Iridite. 38 seconds to Bellerophon orbit. Why don't we get rid of this entirely? We'll make it work with the direct belts. I, I, I think we're still gonna be cramming in the exact same... Almost the exact same layout of pulverizers under beacons, though. Oh, and I want to see what happens here. 27 seconds. So I'm pretty sure changing that to output planet orbit only. We're still going to end up doubling the planet orbit. I mean, it was being output as planet orbit before. Spits this out as 810. And even though 810 is a moon orbit, it, it's a valid, valid destination, apparently. It's going to send us somewhere else. That's kind of annoying. I guess I could change... We'd need to add at least one more decider combinator. It'd be like, if distance signal is negative one, and then if destination, if anomaly equals one. If those two are true, then output everything back to the spaceship console. Yeah, let's try that. That should be it. It's only one more combinator. 
It sucks that we have to add one more combinator, but it's only one more combinator. So it's going to be anomaly one, because that's the... That means our destination is Foenestra. So if our destination is Foenestra and we've arrived but not anchored, output everything from here and the cons uh, constant combinator, which should just set an appropriate planet orbit. That means I have to fly back to Foenestra to test this, though. I don't want to... I don't want to do that right now, do I? Well, we can definitely fly back to Bellerophon and check that it doesn't send us... somewhere else. I'm pretty sure it won't, because we're not receiving the... We're not going to be receiving the uh, Anomaly 1 signal. Let me just double check. If we're going to Phonestra, this is spitting out Anomaly 1. Cool. Now, unless there's some weird signal timing where... No, I, I'm pretty sure that should prevent doubling up on whatever planet orbit. That should be fine. Sad that we ha had to add a whole other combinator to fix this weird edge case. Kind of surprising that we haven't had a single outpost that suffered from this problem before. And that's it. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. Time for... Arco-Link chests. Uh, it is... Vitamolange core fragments, so we don't need to change any signals here. Let's make a tag for this. Uh, where do we add the pins? Here we go. Create a new pin. Aziz Light! Aziz Light? Ragamuffin, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Uh, what's the shortcut? Okay, so what... Our naming convention was Planet Orbit Such and Such, Outpost Number 25. It's 810, right? No? That was the double of it. Planet Orbit 405. Outpost Number 25. What happened to... Why is Kelmea down here now? What? I was gonna say, wasn't our new outpost way down the bottom? Armadeo? That's weird. I don't like it. I don't know why, I don't know why it's changed the order. Whatever, it's fine. Now we go downstairs. Uh, we set up some defenses. Let's get rid of these trees. Let's get rid of these trees the easy way. I forgot the turrets. Let me in. That was a sneeze so big I fell out of the spaceship. Okay. Uh, shield projectors, turrets, laser artillery. Just in case the biters come when we aggro them here. Laser artillery on the corners. 
shield projectors like so gonna need some some power poles and some more shields I think okay that looks pretty good let's be super safe Of course, there's one more tree in the way. Alright, uh, and we should probably place some laser turrets as well. How many do I have left? Ten. Alright, should be super duper safe. Let's start throwing Bida capsules. Ow. Ow, ow, ow. I'm still dying. What? Wait, why am I still dying? No, no, no. Where's the health? Okay. That's nasty. Uh, is it? ever going to stop? It, it, it feels like it's just going indefinitely. Maybe I should put on the power armor. Oh, there it goes. Power armor. I don't know if shields block it. I kind of want to know now. Oh, the capsule thing disappeared. Okay, let, let's do that again. For science. Yeah, the shields do block it. Okay, cool. I didn't realize I had literally no shields. Uh, on the other suit. But yeah, that'll start killing the biters. It also, like, de-evolves them. I think it de-evolves them over the entire... The entire sector. Which made it cost a lot of UPS to throw these things when we first started using them. Uh, let's see. Bider kills. Jumping up. I think that was when we threw the last couple. And we're just keep, gonna keep doing this until we get no biter kills. It seems like... I could be wrong, but it seems like I'm gonna take damage. No matter where I stand, literally. Uh, when I toss out the anti-biter virus capsules. Yep. I'm pretty sure it is. So we just have to have the, uh, the shield juice. Are these just Plague Rocket, but only for bugs? Yeah, kinda. Um, they do actually kill biters across the entire map. Across the entire surface. Which is why when we first started the using them on a gigantic Vitamelange planet, uh, our UPS dropped down to about... I think it was less than one at its lowest. We got it down to the decimals. Oh, poor trees. Poor fake plastic trees. Um, but yeah, it does draw the biters towards us. I don't know if any of them are going to make make it that far, but I want it to be safe this time. I don't know if we're going to be able to get biter extinction before we explore the map or not. I mean, we can check now. Confirm hostile extinction. There are still hostiles on Bellerophon. Neat, indeed. Yeah, these are OP. 
So we're just going to keep tossing them until Biter Kills uh, stop happening, basically. Scarlet Ector Tree. If we toss one of these capsules and get no Biter Kills, and then we find Confirm Hostile Extinction doesn't work, then we're probably going to have to wait for the entire 9k radius planet to be exposed. Uh, what's the precise radius? 8922. Bellerophon. So that would be... Way down here. Oh my god. We haven't even gotten halfway out for the radius. With the scanning. I, I really hope we're not going to have to explore the entire map. But I think we will. Confirm extinction. There are still hostiles. It's gonna take long. Yeah, it is. We could probably start making train tracks here, though, since the, this whole area uh, is already cleared. We just have to make sure we finish the job. Right? Stromhurst is where we'll steal this part from. I don't have my robots though. Maybe I should put some shields on the thruster suit. a little bit less jetpack. That should be way more than enough, I imagine. Let's see. Toss another antibiotic virus capsule. And it seems like that's enough shielding. The nests get generated and killed as the chunks are explored. The seed is already generated, so it'll still be the same map. But things like trees and biters will be different areas, in different areas, if you were to scan and then delete and rescan. I don't know if they are in different areas, uh, but in any case, that actually raises a thought. I don't think this is going to help, but if we pause scans uh, and then check out one or two more antibiotic virus capsules. E even though we can only see this far, I'm pretty sure what's actually active goes out to like here. It could be biters here. But maybe we just happen to be finding more biters because we keep scanning. I don't think it's going to work that way though. I don't think... Uh... I don't think we can clear like, all of the biters that we can find, and then have it say, good enough. It's worth a try, though. First drill is going to be right in front of the stackers. Uh, and I guess we'll put a little intersection here. To turn... Oh, wow, what a good fit. To turn right around and go straight back to the elevator. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, and then we're going to want the intersection right about here. Next drill. And go. Uh, we want front right, I guess. That doesn't work. I guess we could do it like this. Do a little underneathy. And then that's that's a pretty good fit. And then just like that. Alright, signals both ways, one way, one way. Power poles. Like so. I don't know if that's going to reach. That's sad. It's one off. Uh, I'm going to cry. That is max distance. Yeah, it is. That's so awkward. Alright, let's just add another pole here. And we want this connected upstairs. So we can see that Connected down here. Fantastic. Should probably actually start getting some core drills as well. So that we can see that they're working. Alright. I keep forgetting we can't right click these. To grab half of them. Because it tries to split the stacks. Stack size 1 does not get split. Alright, there's our first drill. And we should see core frags in each of these containers in just a second. First drill is... Well, it's actually running at 50%, I think. Because, no, wait, there's only a ghost over here. That shouldn't change anything. 50... Wow. Wow. Expected resources says 19.5 per second. Uh, actual rate, if it wasn't belt bottlenecked, 52.757 per second for one drill. That's insane. In a good way. Fantastic. Uh, I hope the biters don't come and kill this, though, but I think the artillery is probably going to protect it. All right, uh, max distance power pole should work just fine here. Fantastic. I can live with that. And now we have 74 per second. Again, if it wasn't belt bottlenecked. It will be once we add a few more drills. Uh, I mean, if it... It'll stop being belt bottlenecked as each individual drill gets slower. Let's do front right. Right about here. Fantastic. And be gone. Fake tree. There we go. So we're just going to rail straight out over here. Down this way. 
Oops. Turn off our bots for a sec. And we'll shoot our way through the trees. Uh, with a very poor aim, apparently. Wait, no, these are not lined up properly. Okay. Looks like we got most of them. Uh, did I pause the scan? I did. Let, let's just double check. Yeah, no, it's not going to work like that. We're going to have to scan the entire planet. That's going to take some time. And... I guess we could just... Uh, the artillery doesn't even go that far. I know we've cleared out the biters pretty far, or we, we've cleared it as far as the, um, as the scanning has gone. I think it only takes one capsule at this point to clear all the biters where we've scanned to. Until there's quite a few more biters discovered. But yeah, I don't exactly want to have to leave a bunch of... Wait, how many Arties do we have? Six. Why don't I just leave like one Artie at each uh, core mining drill while we keep expanding and waiting for the scan. And we'll bring them back later. some power and some train stops that might be a good idea uh, let's see where the power pole fits first so it's gonna be like this that's kind of inconvenient I guess we'll just have to have a slight diagonal here. Actually, I'm probably going to want this rail to go straight north. Hold on. I'm going to see exactly where this fits. Should we do a diagonal? Diagonal wouldn't be bad. Yeah, that's good. Keep going north. Make that a wide. Chuck down a laser arty. Just to make sure. I'm sure it's only going to be like two biters at a time coming if they do come. Alright, power, and connected to global. Nice. Alright, we've got our defenses. Uh, I imagine we're still belt bottlenecked. 30 per second. We could do 22.5 on half of a blue belt. So if we add like one more drill here... 
You can stop being belt bottlenecked. Uh, let's add a signal over here, one way. And I guess we can probably get away with getting rid of two of these laser turrets. Didn't bring any regular signals. Only need a couple. Need some train stops. Need a train. Uh, let's grab... Train template from here. Just need to change Amadeo to Bellerophon. Cool. Down the elevator, stack, 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 core frag pickup, up the elevator, refuel, and drop off. Cool. And have some. Space train power packs, and then some equipment so that you can go faster. Wait, what? That's fine. Okay. And we've got some bots in here. Too many bots in here. I guess we'll leave some construction bots just in case. And... Don't forget to place the ArcoLink storage on the ship. And we need to drag that back to Hagen. Alright, down you go. And we'll just double check that there's at least a circuit here. Pretty sure there is. Fifty megawatt. The laser the minimum power from the laser artillery, one laser artillery turret, is actually double the core mining drill. I'm going to close the window before I get eaten by mosquitoes. Okay, so that's core frags into the Arco chest. And back home we go for the moment. I guess I technically could have got myself killed just now. Um, I guess I'll just hold on to these. Alright. Where are we going? Moon orbit. 1180. Dr. Megaman PhD, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the raid. Not sure where our raid noise went. That's weird. Sound thing still works. How is your stream today? Factorio, fantastic. Uh. Yeah, we're going via Foenestra. Back to Hagen Orbit. Cool. I guess 
this will be as good a test as any. Uh, that the change destination if we're at Foenestra thing works. We added one condition to it because we found an edge case where it bounces us off and sends us back somewhere else. I heard the raid noise? Really? Uh, maybe I'm just losing my mind. Could be that. Maybe, maybe it's just as simple as that. Okay, we're going to want to clear some space. Um, how about on the left? Looks like this one's empty already. Although it does have antimatter to offer. Let's set this up as... Uh, don't talk to the robot network. Just antimatter provider. How much antimatter is here? 492k. Okay. Uh, we want to get rid of the antimatter. At very high priority. And then for everything else, we have we have Logibots here. Why don't we just get the Logibots to dump all the elevator cables and stuff to go back to the malt? And then we'll send. We'll get a train to pick up the last of these core frags. I don't think there's going to be... I guess there could be core frags held by the invisible inserters here. Uh, so I want to make sure... Whichever train is coming to this particular station. That's a lot of trains. Uh, I want to make sure they wait for inactivity as well. Prospect, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Is this the guy? Nope. Who is coming to pick up these core frags, I wonder? We can just get the decon train to pick up the stone, that's no big deal. You know, there's probably vanilla core frags in the mall anyway. Could just let them go back there. Oh, here we go. Uh, wait for inactivity. Make sure it's properly filled. There we go. Alright. One more trip from the short train will get rid of all this stuff. Uh, I guess... Not that it matters, but we'll make sure that this is not connected to... Dispatch. And then we'll send the decon train over here. And or we could send the instruction spidertrons. Okay, where's our little trash train? On the way back. It's gonna get there before the decon train. Oops. Uh, we may as well update this while we're at it. So this happens to be the one spaceship drop-off where we put four frags going up stairs via a vanilla train schedule. Um, I didn't yet bother to port this over to... 
the LTN to vanilla to LTN system. Because it's just one thing that goes to one place. Vanilla, uh, Vitamelange core frags, uh, as a, uh, instead of core fragment processing itself, the only place they go is Bio 4. So I think that's, it's also consumed super slowly, if I recall. Less than one per second. Um, yeah. So I think just having the one vanilla schedule for uh, Vitamelange core frags is probably fine. I mean, on the other hand, we probably need way less than a train schedule for that. All the more reason it should be on a shared schedule. But I can't really be bothered changing it right now. Which means we just need to recreate this station somewhere else. Not sure where that's going to be exactly. I guess we could put it like here. Yeah, that's going to be pretty easy. In fact, we might barely have to move it at all. Literally just move it back a few tiles. That'll be easier to do in person though. So we don't want the decon to do that. Where is our decon train? Oh, it is here. Oh, it's in the wrong spot. Okay. Park yourself over here. What's going on with this pumping? Seems a little slow. It says it's pumping 11,000 per sec. Some of the pumps are facing the wrong way. One of the pumps was facing the wrong way. Okay. Good, good talk. All right, and let's start getting rid of all this. Sure, we have room for all of this stone. Um, I guess we're still using the same pattern at the corners here. Didn't really need to pick that much up. We already removed all this stuff. Did I already get rid of the requests? I did. Fantastic. Just everything but the antimatter. We'll give it a chance to get recycled. Man. Uh, Mega Man PhD. I had a similar thing happen recently. I was staring at a train for five whole minutes wondering why it was, wasn't moving, only to realize I forgot one chain signal. Indeed. That's all it takes in a complex system, unless it's deliberately built with redundancies and such. Okay, and then we'll just copy-paste this. Wait, we're not ready yet. There's still three train loads plus change of antimatter here. Two point two K. That is pumping surprisingly slowly. There we go. All right. Are we there yet? We're not even at Foenestra. Well, this is kind of good timing. 
Just another minute or so, and we can double check that this works in real time. West dude, why are we taunt spamming Veldak? Alright, where are we? 9.2... 9.3... This is slower than I would like. Funny thing happened to me... That I had crossing, which worked fine for 100 hours, and then I find out that it deadlocked my whole train system. <laughs> nice, nice. Someday, someday, he will purge me? Hmm. But how can Veldak purge you if I purge you first? Alright, looks like that worked. As expected. Hagen Orbit. Fantastic. We'll be there in about three minutes or so. Game time. Now then. Uh, I can't really remotely fix this. We can fix the floor. I'll just toss this in a temp container, and then, uh, that's actually super inconvenient. I guess we'll make a little exception to the combinator placement this time, so we can have one more output belt from this. Should probably be closer to the, uh, space elevator, actually. Move it over here. Whatever, it's fine. The throughput's quite slow for the core frags that are specifically for science. As in, specifically and directly for science. I did want to reuse a bunch of this stuff, but... Let's just send it back to the mall. Get this floor placed. Where the hell are we going? Wait for inactivity. Wait for at least 30 seconds. Uh, and this one's going to be Bellerophon. Did I spell it right? B E L L E R O F O N. B E L L E R O F O N. Fantastic. It wouldn't count if you did it. It has to be Veldek. 43k times 3, 120. That's like two train loads in a little bit. I could go to some other spaceship drop-off and increase the antimatter request. But I'm sure that'll happen soon enough. Organically. Oh, I should bring... White plated. Yeah, we can just do that after the fact. Here comes the floor train. Eller Ophon. We want it smack dab in the middle. And we want it to line up like this. And then we want hazard around the edges. And white plate, if I can find it. For the rest. And we'll have to bring you back. Because 
with this system we can only fit like three different things in here without it overloading the filters okay so that should get itself done and then we want to copy paste the rest of this which I guess I could have done most of without waiting to clear the rest of it. So that's going to go here. And then here. And then here. So here. Oh, that even has the wire connections, apparently. That's going to be kind of in the way, though. Nope. Alright, let's wait for the uh, antimatter to be gone. Dylan, welcome in. Unload the Arco chest to unload it. Why don't you want space to land the spaceship? Uh, I guess we'll just, like, land it down here and clumsily pick a dollies its way all the way up this way. That's fine. How much is left? 72. Alright. 12,000 remains. We'll get the next train that's coming here to wait for inactivity. second now. Of course, there has to be demand for it first. What's our ETA? 52 seconds. Fantastic. Wow, Bellerophon just barely fits comfortably in this, uh, this layout here. Couldn't have planned it better, unless we had, like, one more tile. I can live with that, though. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, up, up. How can there be... Nowhere demanding antimatter? There we go. Alright. Wait for inactivity as well as 10k anti-matter stream and then that'll be the end of this station here it comes No, it's a short train. That means the trickle of antimatter fluid left in, like, these two... or well, this one, I guess, is gonna take its sweet time getting sucked up this way. As opposed to getting direct pumped from... like, straight into a pump from one container. I guess I shouldn't have allowed a short train. That's my bad. We can pick a dolly's the train stop, but not the uh, bulk rail loader. Also, we can only pick a dolly. What? I. Okay, I stand corrected. I thought we could only pick a dolly's the train stop, along the rail. Um, I don't know where I got that idea. That's weird. Anyway, we've arrived. Uh, 
we meant to go back to Hagen, not Hagen Orbit, I suppose. Let's just empty this out first. And then turn this off. Go to Hagen itself. That'll just take a few seconds. And surely enough, it's taking time to get the dregs of the antimatter out of this one container. Literally just has to flow through one more container. Look how much slower it is. I guess I could, like, force the train to come down this way. It's going to be over in a sec anyway. Alright. Let's park down here. Screw these rocks. And what are we doing? Oh no. I, I guess that's fine. That is a lot of range. A lot, a lot of range. That is all in range. Huh. Okay then. We'll still need the construction train for a lot of this. But still. We need to pick a dollies our Arculink storage out of the ship. Send you back to Hagen Orbit. If we didn't have Piccadillys, we would have to land the ship exactly where it needs to go to be deconstructed uh, to leave an Arcolink chest behind. Uh, as it is, this is going to be a little bit easier. We can Piccadillys this through the stuff that's marked for deconstruction. Hopefully it doesn't get hit by a train. Oh god, no, that... I don't even want to think about that. I, I guess we should be a bit more careful. I think I have seen a train run across a track that was marked for decon. So, uh... Let, let's not have that happen. We're making dedicated spots for planets instead of the logistics sy uh, ship system, indeed. Welcome in, Dardano. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. We've been at it for a little while. We've got one for Bombato, Picard, uh, Renato, Plato, Orpheus, Amadeo, which is a new Holmium outpost. Uh, Toucan, the stone outpost, Miturian, the coal outpost. And I think that's it so far. We may still stick with spaceships for short range. If only because Arculink chests are super, super expensive. And I don't just mean they take time to get back. I mean, depending on how finite the supply of Arcospheres actually is. Uh, but yeah, this is now where it needs to be. Um, why don't we just get rid of this for the moment? Why is there one little piece of floor missing here? Bruh. Okay. This goes here, and we need to connect green wire to this inserter. Um, we're going to want a temp storage for all of this. We're going to want this train stop settings. We're going to uh, switch off the requests. Copy what we've got over here. Turn those back on. And... Uh, 
Do I not have an LTN stop? Apparently not. Well, that's awkward. I'll probably just put this here, in any case. Yeah, I'm happy enough with that. Wait. The train doesn't quite fit within this sector. Uh... Okay, fine. I'll put it over here. And... Put these back. Dune, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream today? Of course we've got two antimatter stuck in this frickin' fluid storage system. Whatever, it's fine. Get rid of all of this. Welcome in, June. I need to get the floor train back for that one piece of missing black plated, otherwise I'm gonna go raving mad. Okay. Wait for inactive, wait at least 30 seconds just to be sure. Wait, is it coming? Yeah, it's coming. Sixty-nine days until Dune Part Two. <laughs> Indeed. All right, we're gonna need a construction train to visit probably a number of times because we don't carry like five stacks of pulverizers. Uh, how many do we carry? Two. We can fit one more and bring it down to two trips. Just barely. Okay, wait for inactive, go back to the mall, come back here again, wait for inactive. And I guess I can already drop this back down to two, two stacks. Cool. That should all get built with no further action from us. We've already got our core frags from Bellerophon. Number 123. Cool. And we're going to want to switch this back on. Nice soup. Alright, let's just hang out here for a minute and double check it all gets done. Oh, and we might also want to ensure that we direct belt. That's already lined up. Yeah. We're direct belting into the blocks directly north and south. And the trains can just manage the excess. There might come a time where having the trains even pick up the excess vitamelange is a bit too much. But we're not too worried about it for now. Oh yeah, we also need the train to come back with purple belts because we don't carry that much. Pretty sure one more trip. Yeah, one more trip will definitely be enough. Cool. For now, this will be way more than we need uh, to process what we get from Bellerophon. So let's head back to Bellerophon and for one thing, clear the biters. And for another thing, add more core drills. Oops, we also need to finish the build on this side. I'm sure we have enough belt to finish that. Oh, and we also need like... Doesn't really need to be 50. Honestly, any number of uh, Logibots in this block should be way more than enough.
right side parts missing, indeed, indeed. Also, we're going to make a little exception to where the combinator is here, just so that we can squeeze this in. Uh, and we're going to direct belt. I guess I could just put a splitter here instead. Yeah, that's fine. We really don't need that much um, that goes directly to goes directly into bio four signs. And I don't really I'm not really worried about balancing these. Where's our construction train? Should have brought enough to finish the build this time. Fantastic. And that's all the stuff for maintaining the outpost. Which we put into the Arco chest in limited quantities. Uh, so that there's always room for all of the essentials that go through both ways. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, let's head back. Um, I'm feeling a little bit lazy. Let's have... No, wait, I was going to say let's have the spider pick us up, but I just need to fly to the space elevator. Which is just up here. How's ingots doing? Not great, it looks like. We might be playing catch up though. Since we didn't have enough, uh... Oh wow. That did not take... This one's short on nanomaterial, but the belt to output cubes is pretty much full. It's like just barely not saturated. Unless nanomaterial never got here? I'm pretty sure it did. Yeah. Oh, I see. It's because of the imbalance. Uh, but yeah, it actually took a lot less time than I thought to saturate Naquium cubes. So we're probably actually doing fine for ingots. Alright, I can live with that. I just wish... We could have these merge and split and have it look elegant. I don't really see a way to do it. Anyway, up the elevator, through the teleporter. Uh, back into the construction ship. And I think it was Planet Orbit 405. via Foenestra. Bellerophon is indeed Planet Orbit 405. Cool. How much longer do we need to scan it for? Probably forever. That's the edge of the planet. And this is how much we've scanned. And it's only going to take longer and longer to get further and further out. And we need to scan the entire planet to be able to kill all the biters and declare extinction. So that we can reset the uh, biter threat level down to the minimum and have them not respawn. No laser beam? Laser beam would take forever. Um, and we would also still have to explore the entire planet. Uh, what we've got instead of laser beam, which is actually weirdly way more effective and fast, is antibiter virus capsule. Isn't this a Vita planet? It is indeed, so we can't use the uh, plague rocket. Otherwise it'll become a coal planet. Schnutsky, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Don't 
forget to fix. Indeed, indeed. Well, uh, that's at least some... Wow, we already got three destroyed space train power packs from that one train running back and forth at Bellerophon. Considering it's a 1% chance every time we recharge a power pack, that's pretty surprising. No big deal, though. So how much, um... We're still belt bottlenecked on the half belt. 22.5 times 3 is uh, 67.5 core frags per second that we're already getting from Bellerophon. Three and a bit stacks. Seems the Arcosphere logistics... I mean, yeah, they're completely busted. <laughs> what do you want? In a game about logistics, when you can literally just teleport resources from any one place to any other place, uh, as long as they're solids. Uh, especially when you have certain things with ridiculously small stack sizes. It kind of just solves the game, except that it takes a lot uh, to farm Arcolink storages. And it's a bit dubious as to just how many of these we could make. Because we get diminishing returns collecting Arcospheres. Both from individual uh, asteroid fields and, like, globally. Uh, but yeah, with loaders, the throughput for Arcolink chests is pretty bonkers. Um... We could, if we really wanted to, squeeze six belts through each of these and still have the inserters with the smarts to swap various other resources through the chests. Um, I think that's a little bit unnecessary, though. I mean, for each individual outpost... Uh... 90, 180, 360. Yeah, we're not getting 360 core frags per second out of any one outpost. Not even with... Uh... We, we would have to play the game for a very, very long time spamming mining productivity. And probably carpet a huge planet in core drills to reach 360 per second. Uh... Yeah. The belts being able to do 360 core frags per second is way, 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 way more than we need. They permanently use Arcospheres? Yeah. You need to use 10 lambdas. Uh... What? Where is it? 10 Arcosphere lambdas. And the rest is trivial compared to that. To make a single Arcolink storage chest. So it's 20 to make a pair. And considering we're getting like 40 plus. For, for just a little bit more than 40. I think we got 42 last time. When we go to a new... Uh, When we go to a new asteroid field that we haven't tapped yet and launch 500 Arco Sphere Collectors, we came back with 42 last time. So not many more launches and it'll be less than 40. Also, we've done like half, maybe nearly half of the uh, asteroid fields we've been to at least once. 93 Arco Link storage chests. Is that Veldak? Wait, who? What? That's not more faster? We need max? What do you mean? 93 Arcolink storage chests. How many Arcospheres are we losing? Oh, we don't lose them continuously. It's a one-time investment of 10 per chest. You have an Arcolink set to 93. 
an Arco link set to 93. Uh, it just, if, if you mean this number right here, uh, it just sets, uh, that number just represents the surface. Uh, when you place the Arco link chest, uh, the setting for like which chests it's connected to is it's connected to every other chest that's been placed on this surface. Um, but with some spaceship shenanigans, we can keep the setting while bringing it to a different surface. Yeah, we don't have 93 of these. Uh, I, I can tell you exactly how many we have. Entity, all surfaces. We have... Nine on Hagen, which probably means we have 18. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So we've put 180 Arku, uh, Arku spheres into Arku link storages already. Throughout the entire game, uh, we've found 825. Sadly, we lost 25 of them to a very, very unlucky media. We've now got a setup that's a little bit more paranoid. We've got some uh, media point defenses built into the spaceship, as well as the, uh, as well as the many media defense installations that we place while we're doing the launches. Rip twenty five arcospheres. What's our ETA? Three minutes, thirteen seconds to Bellerophon orbit. I don't like that we're back down to sub thirty UPS a lot of the time. I think it's the trains at this point. We keep subtracting the spaceships that we have or need. But we keep getting more and more throughput, and we keep having to add trains. And everywhere we look, there's trains and trains and trains in motion. At least steel is saturated. Copper is probably pretty much saturated. Mostly. Yeah, that seems fine. Aren't you scanning a planet too? Uh, that does cost some UPS. Yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. It's going to take such a long time. Come to think of it, uh, I want to get like, I want to get at least like eight to ten drills. And we can have them protected by the laser artillery, I guess come back when the entire planet is scanned so that we can get rid of the biters. Especially since they're not very evolved. Um, the laser artillery will probably be enough. Probably. I guess I should put like a just, even if it's just like one or two laser turrets next to the artillery, just to cover the uh, blind spots. I guess there's no blind spot here because uh, there probably would be. Hard to tell. Okay, what are we going to do until we get to Bellerophon? We should probably investigate where our bottlenecks are. Oh, wow. That's a lot of Holmium ingot. Uh, why is it only... 
It's not only that block. Okay, half of the blocks have whole meme ingots in reserve. That's actually really, really promising. I'm pretty sure we still haven't fixed the bottleneck whereby we're not eating all of the holmanite that comes out of the core fragments. Yeah, look at that. We're deleting holmanite to make uh, matter. Not that we don't need matter. But yeah, uh, to think we're actually accumulating ingots again. What a beautiful sight. I never thought I'd see the day. I think Beryl is also generally pretty good. I want to change this so that we... Uh... Where is this going? Oh. I kind of want to change this so we have more storage for the ingots. They stack to 100, so the storage on the belt is not that much. We need... We've got like three... Three belts coming in here. What's the max rate? 28 per second. Um, I guess we could change it so that... These two merge over here. I don't mind if some whole meme ingots end up back in the mall. It's no big deal. Let's park the construction train over here. Let's unlimit these two big containers. May as well let those belts drain out somewhat. And then redo this part. We'll just wait for that delivery cannon chest to drain. It doesn't actually... Uh, evenly distribute between these two unless the input is saturated because it's basically just inserters that are grabbing from here all right so we want a splitter about here plate hmm we should probably do the same thing for plate 292 per second max. Well, what's the overall rate? Almost exactly that. Uh, so more than three belts. Yeah. Okay. Can it? Because this is full, I would kind of need the decon train or something to take the plate. Um, for now, let's do like this. And. Maybe like this. Each column is way less than half a belt. Yeah, that should be fine. And then... It, it would even probably be okay to... Well, we do want the southward flow still, so it leads to these assembly machines. I 
kind of want to just do like this. Maybe this will do. Yeah, I can live with that. Alright, that seems good. And I kind of want the same thing on the opposite side, but we're going to end up too full with the construction train right now. Let's bring the spooters. They're not going to cross any spaceships. Nope. We'll decon this. Whoops. And I kind of want this on the opposite side. Except, isn't two belts way below the max rate for the plate? It was like three belts worth, right? Uh, we don't need to do an actual 4-4 four four balancer with this. For a 4-2, we basically just need two splitters that each go to each output. The cleanest way to do that Not sure, to be honest. I guess we could squeeze in a splitter over here. Might be best if... I kind of want to move these a little bit. How about we go splitter on this side with the usual kind of layout and then same thing on the opposite side. So this will go here. Uh, this could go here. These spiders are taking a while to get here. Oh, there they go. Nice soup. I don't think they have enough purple belt though. I mean, they didn't bring any. It's just what we're recycling on the spot. Uh, and then we want... That to go there. That's going to be awkward. That's going to be... Super awkward. Hmm... Damn it. I guess this is fine. Bring it over a little bit. So we ended up putting that back where we found it. Oh, this, this stuff all went to the trash slots as well, so it's not going to be accessed. Alright, whatever. Send the construct uh, the decon spiders back. And construction train should be able to finish the job. Wait for inactive. Alright, are we there yet? We are there yet. Fantastic. And let's keep our eye on this just to make sure it gets done. The planet you need to fully explore, could spiders not give a hand? 
technically, yes, but you may be underestimating the scale of the problem. So, this is the center of Bellerophon. It has a radius of 8,922 tiles. We did a GPS uh, so that we could jump to, I think it was 0, 8922, which was directly south. And that is all the way down uh, here. If we just hold the button, let's see the scale of this. This is like one whole screen, a little bit more on the map now. Yeah, how about this? We just hold the up button. How long do you think it's going to take to get to the center of the map? It's about 10 seconds so far. I've stopped counting. We're still not up to the point where we've scanned to. Still going... <laughs> Oh my god. There we go. We've finally reached the point that we've scanned to so far. And for some reason there's bits of the map that aren't getting revealed by what we were just doing. So for spiders to simply walk across all of this... Um, I don't know that it's necessarily going to be that much faster than scanning. Also, I think this is... Oh, I think this is now going slower because of what we were just doing. So that's not the normal rate. So not only would it take a very long time for the spiders to explore all of the unexplored chunks... But what? Whoa, okay... Wasn't expecting that. I guess it played catch-up. Uh, but the spiders wouldn't be able to explore as fast as the scanning is happening either. And we would have to click everywhere to tell the spiders to explore all over the place. I'm surprised UPS hasn't tanked further. I mean... We can make it tank a bit more by dragging our view out here, down to 23. As it figures out from the seed what is supposed to be there. Uh, but yeah, this is, this is going to take a while. About twice as long as we've already been waiting, if not more, I should think. Time to hydrate. Gonna need some train stops, bulk rail loaders. Looks like we've already got poles. We've got some drills. Uh, give me the rest of the defenses. Since we're gonna have to wait so long before we can clear out the biters properly. I want to make sure we have a little bit more. 
protecting out drills. Damn it, I should have brought the speedy spider for this. A little bit low on rocket fuel, we should be careful of that. Would it take eight times longer to unveil because the area is roughly eight times what's visible now? Um, it is spherical as opposed to square. Uh, you can, you can't really see it here, but there is a curve to that. So I think it'll take a little bit less time to scan than all that, but still. Do those laser artillery turrets gain bonuses from regular artillery? I don't think so, no. And they they consume a tremendous amount of energy. Oh, that reminds me. Wait, no, we're going to leave this here. Until we're sure that we're safe. Um, yeah, they consume a tremendous amount of energy. Uh, 250, no, 50 watt, 50 megawatt minimum, 150 megawatt maximum, 100 megajoules for a single shot. But it is an infinite ammo artillery cannon, uh, that goes across a few screens, or like at least a couple of screens. So that's pretty good. Also, the rate of fire of these things is better than you'd expect. Uh, let's see, shooting speed, 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5 second per second. So one per second with our current bonuses. I think that's... Laser shooting speed doesn't go infinite. It's maxed out, which it's the same as what you would get in vanilla, I think. Uh, plus 10% times 7, I think it is. No, it's double, isn't it? 0.5 per second plus 0.5 per second. Yeah. Range 224 tiles. Damage 6.1k laser at the moment. Minimum is 1,000. And then area... That's direct damage. And then area of effect 250 plus 1.27k. It's pretty strong, and very, very, very expensive. Alright, uh, let's maybe risk removing just a single shield generator. I'll put it back here, I guess. The biters will have to run the gauntlet if they ever get this close. We're going to want signals on this side. And two-way on this side. Let's turn off the RoboPort. We're going to shoot some trees. Actually, you know what I'm tempted to do? It's a little bit, a little bit expensive, but it's going to save us a lot of trouble. Kill the fake tree. Wow. Wow. Uh, that is saving us a lot of trouble. Kill the fake trees with the anti-biter virus capsule. Seems good. Alright, let's go front right, perhaps. Not a cozy fit. That's not too bad. And rail can go north. And then west. All right. Pew. And corner goes. 
here. Power poles. Do we even need this extra one? We don't. Surprisingly enough. Oh, that's a wide, I see. Dub. I guess we could do a little diagonal here. That's probably fine. a little weird. And we need to connect this back here. Already 922. I kind of wish I'd started earlier, but I was completely clapped. Connect to here. And this should be powered and connected. Cool. There's no longer any technical necessity that we connect the core fragment count back to global, but I just like to be able to mouse over it and see how much we've got waiting for pickup or building up to be waiting for pickup that's pretty convenient as long as we don't want to go further this way kind of do now we can go this way from, from here okay in that case Let's put front right, and we can just do an underground. Neat. Super neat. And power poles are going to fit like this. And like this. And there's like one tree that's in the way over here. I'll let you live this time. Try not to get hit by a train. I don't think there's a threshold of core frags here yet. Each drill individually is still more than half of a blue belt. Uh, I guess... Wait, this doesn't hurt tracks or anything, does it? Nope. That's pretty convenient. And we probably should be periodically killing the biters anyway. Just to make sure they don't make it to our... actual build. I think we've... I think we turned off pollution. They still might come this way anyway, I don't know. But eventually we turn off pollution just because it costs UPS and there's no real... difficulty... in having it. We don't have power. Oh, this is two tiles off? Alright, fine. Dance of my people. Uh, I kind of want this to be 45 degrees now.
That would be a good fit, except for the weird way this renders. Yuck. How about here? There we go. Just plague rocket the planet unless it's Vitamelange. It is Vitamelange. How does that work? Just moving a tree with pick dollies? Uh, normally you can't. It tells you that a rock does not belong to your force. But if you go into the navsat, for some reason, it's okay. So, so without the navsat, uh, wouldn't really be possible. We don't need to go this way, we just need to go straight through here. And... yeah. Let's go horizontal and then north. Oops. Is it going to fit to go straight in? It is. Um, I guess that's pretty cozy. I don't mind this. All right. We don't have the same trouble with cargo wagons as fluid wagons. If the locomotive at the back is on the curved rail, it's not going to stop. It, it's never going to stop the bulk rail loader from loading the cargo wagon. So that's going to go there. And then power po Wait, I forgot defenses. Which we're probably not going to need, but I would rather be safe than sorry. Just a little bit. Didn't put defenses here either. Alright, where are we going? Straight south. Lasers. Power poles. Uh, the longer... the more I build, the more I'm gonna have to come back to remove the turrets. I think we'll probably stop at just two more, maybe three more drills on this planet for now. Until we clear the biters out. Ooh, that's a pretty good fit. Alright, down we go. And I'm going to be lazy and toss another capsule. Just instantly disappears all the trees. Oh. Fine. We got power. We got power. Fantastic. Don't forget the rail. These bots are being lazy. Let's see the biter kills. Yeah, big spike whenever we toss one of those. But we're going to have to reveal the entire map before we can clear them entirely. And then we can trim the whole thing back down. I 
How big is a chunk exactly? Uh, 40? Don't think that's right. 32. Since it's a base 2 number, that wouldn't be surprising. If I didn't miscount. 32, indeed. Uh, so chunk... What, what's our radius? 8972 We're almost a third of the way out with the scanning. Chat agrees. Is it rare? Welcome in Meloxel. Hope you're doing well. My chat's mostly pretty chill. Alright. And... Don't tell me we're one tile off. No! Ah, I guess we'll put this here. And be sad. Or maybe... Let, let's pretend that maybe we'll keep the rail going out to the west later on. We'll put just another wide up here. That doesn't look too bad. Okay. Are we still bottlenecked on the half belt? We are. How many drills is that? Entity, drill, not all surfaces, no! That didn't take as long as I thought it would. Uh, we've only done five drills so far. But still, more than half of a blue belt from each drill. That's kind of wild. 117, 118 core frags per second from this outpost already. Alright, we'll do... Um, that's not going to work because the train stop's going to be in the way. We could do it like this. I guess. I guess I hate that the least. And up here for the rail. And then power poles are going to perfectly fail to line up. Let's turn off our RoboPort and get rid of the trees. I asked the computer and it thinks you have done 11% of the scan area if you've illuminated one third of the diameter. Ouchie. Big ouchie. But it's got to be done. We don't want to have to leave defenses behind. We want to get the threat level down to, well, it's going to say 1% because we've got biter medias, but it's basically zero biters on the planet. Um, that way, the only defenses we have to have are media defenses. And we can trim the surface all the way back to the bare minimum to reveal what we've built. Where am I going? Okay. I can't believe I've gotten so lazy as to use anti-biter capsules to clear trees. Does that mean I'm doing it right? Where's the drill? Here it is.
Pip. There's still something in the way here. There we go. And power pole. It's going to have to be diagonal. It's going to line up. Here looks good. Gonna have to remove a tree or two though. That's pretty good. Alright. Begin. I think last chord drill does not have rail all the way. Uh, true, thank you. Uh, since we're so close, let's go fix it now. We don't have to remember. Also, we should probably take some time to double-check the pathing to all of the stations. Where's our train? There he is. Okay. Path, 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 and so far path. Okay, cool. Good, good, good. Index, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Alright, where does this tree get in our way? About here. Nope. And go. Fantastic. That looks kind of weird. Oh, did we signal over here? We did, right? Yeah. And we've got the signals built into the intersections. All right, that's six drills, right? Let's do number seven, and then we'll come back here. Wait, don't forget the defenses. Uh, and we'll come back here when the scanning is done. Also, we should double check path. Fantastic. Are there biters here? They should be dead. Yeah, they're dead. How many core seams does this planet have? Uh, lots, but I don't want to have to... I don't want to have to leave an entire, like, 9.8k radius planet fully explored. Um, it doesn't cost that much... It really doesn't cost much in terms of UPS, but... The save file becomes much, much, much bigger, and it takes a lot longer to load and save. Uh, so we try and... Also, we get diminishing returns for adding drills. So the first drill is worth the first drill. Uh, we need 2 to the power... No, we need n to the power of 2 um, to get the equivalent of the first drill over and over. So it takes 1 drill, 4 drills, uh, 9 drills, 16 drills, 25 drills to get 5 times what we got out of the first drill. Um, so there's not much point in going beyond, say, 25-ish. And as you can see from the tags, they're awfully spread out. And, and you can kind of... Like, th there's a higher density of them near the middle of the map as well. So this is as good as it gets, this density of uh, core seams. So it's not really worth, on a large, large planet, um, tapping every single core seam. 
just get a Linux system so you can save and play at the same time. Indeed, indeed. Except that Linux is a nightmare. Okay, uh, where are we going to... Let's figure out first where we want our train stop. Ooh, cozy. That's like only the second cozy fit on this planet. That's going to go there. And then... Rail goes up this way. And then... Like this. It's getting better. Valve has made Linux uh, gaming a million times better. That's good. I mean, philosophically, I'm all for it. Uh, you know, an open source operating system that works. But... My experience... Not so easy to get going. I used to code, I occasionally dabble, and honestly, I've found... Wow, that's a big radius. Often one of the hardest things in trying to get into a new project is just getting the environment set up and working. Uh, and, and that whole process... It seems like it's just kind of assumed that you can do this easily. And there's almost no help for it. Linux is kind of like that. Alright, we need some power poles. Been running full-time Linux for four years now. Nice, nice. My best coding project was just a simple Python program that told me the perks of the items I had in Aru R2. Aru R2. Rise of Ragamuffin. How much do each of those bombs actually cost you? Uh, well, the thing about that is it's kind of semi-automatic, because we don't need that many, and I think I remember them being kind of expensive. Uh, so we have to go to some actual trouble to make them. I put this contraption here. We need genetic data, fine emesite powder, poison capsules, and some stuff that we've already got on planet. I don't know if fine emesite powder is being exported to the rail network anymore. Why does... no, it's not. So we'd have to go steal it from Ovi. No, that's Holmium. Fine emesite powder, was it? Yeah, fine emesite powder is strictly in block here. It's not... Nope, I tell a lie. We do export it for some reason. Probably other than that. How can I not type? How der. Fine emesite. Goes into Immersium Beans. Nothing? I don't think we have any reason left to export the fine Immersite powder, actually. But it's convenient that we do, because we need that delivered over here. Also wood. This stuff's not too difficult. But we need to bring down Big Spitter Capsule. It actually just says Big Spitter. Unit Capsule, Big Biter, and Big Spitter. Which needs this contraption because we had no need of it elsewhere. Uh, biomass, Vitalic Acid, Nutrient Gel. And then Re Vitalic Reagent, Vitalic Epoxy. It, 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 it's it's a pain in the butt. Which I didn't feel like fully automating because we didn't need that much of it. And... It's kind of expensive. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the anti virus capsules we've already got. There's more than we ever need. 
because we only needed like I don't know, 20 or 30 or something to clear out a 9k radius, 100%-ish uh, Bite of Threat planet. It was pretty extreme. I do squander them on this, but we're really not... I, I don't think we're going to run out of them again. Mm, that's not going to reach, is it? Definitely not. Uh, okay. How about a little diagonal? What? That doesn't look too bad. Is this damaged? No, it's me. I'm the one who's damaged. And we ran out of blue loaders. Alright then. Did we just happen to run out of four of them over here? Or do we have a sad... Uh... Station somewhere? I think... I think we happened to run out of... Loaders... Exactly at one of the train stops. Okay. Let's go get some more then. And get some more solid rocket fuel before we run out. This is already running, yes. We, I think we've got everything except the express loaders. Let's check our thing though. Fantastic. No, it's me. I'm the one who's damaged. Get out of my head. Never. Defenses? Uh, sure. Good point. Good point. With Rampant, the biters do attack rails and stuff, not just polluting machines and defenses. But we haven't had Rampant on for a while. A long while. We had it back on Hagen, and then everything was fine, like performance-wise. Until, at one point, presumably every single biter on the entire planet was instructed to path to our base at the exact same time. Because the UPS went from solid 60 to 15. Instantly. So we sadly had to put Rampant down. What am I looking for? I need blue belts. Especially look, especially loaders. I don't know what else I just took from this chest. Uh, I guess that's fine. Are we about to run out of anything else? Don't think so. How's my life support? It's fine. Fun, lots of... Oh, I forgot. Solid rocket fuel. Solid rocket fuel is over here. Don't need that much. And... Wait, no. There is a storage chest over there. Okay. Wait. Yeah, we just need the loaders. Uh, I think we'll settle for these drills until we've finished scanning the planet. That should at least be enough to not bottleneck on the belts, right? Right. Let's see. 19.9. Fantastic. How many drills do we have? Uh, only seven. 
for a total of... Wow. Seven drills, and we've got almost 140 core frags per second. And as long as we're still on tier 6 modules, uh, that's most of what this entire block can do. I kind of want to get it up to 165, but... Uh... Okay, wait, wait, wait. We've got tag, 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 relatively close by, and one up here as well. How much are we getting from the individual drills? 19.94 per second. If we get rid of this one, uh, it's 21. So each drill is subtracting like two core frags per second-ish at the moment. Uh, more like one-ish. How many drills do we have? Seven. I can't remember how much we were getting from the first one. We're up to seven. We're really not that deep into diminishing returns. Nah, we'll, we'll wait till the... We'll wait till the scanning's done, and then we'll come back and get it up to 165 core frags per second. I will place the other two trains while we're here, though. Let me in. Where is the train? There it goes. I think I just saw it sneaking up the elevator. Yes. Okay. Damn it. I wanted to catch it while it was stuck right here so we could make a blueprint and just place it where the inserters are. It's fine. We'll just place it here. And we need some more train bits. Just give me all of them. So we don't have to count. Death World Rampant by UPS, indeed. Uh, wrong order again. It's fine. And we'll just double check. Yeah. No, we need to... Uh, we need to give it the new schedule. There we go. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, stop, stop. Cool. Let's blueprint here. Trains. Just like that. And you can be on your merry way. And then... Before the next train comes... Oh wow, that's... Why is this so awkward? <laughs> Why can't I place it where the... Oh no. Not as planned. Well then, indeed. It's trying to stick to the other train. Blueprint didn't like trains in a curve. Not wrong. Is that even linked? It's not. It's not linked. <laughs> Why are you like this? Careful. Careful. And... Is it G? There we go. Alright, so it should have the right schedule already. Bellerophon. Now we just give it the equipment. That was this side. And this one. Cool. 
Cool, cool, cool. All done. And that's three trains, yes? Yes. Which should be more than we need, I imagine. It's a lot of core frags to move, though. Alright, so we'll double check. All of these have defenses. Looks good. Looks fine. We'll come back when the scanning is done, Ski. And then we'll finish off the biters and mark it as conquered. Onward to Hagen Orbit. Via Foenestra, otherwise it's going to take a very, very long time for us to get home. From the very edge of the map. Nice job, Blueprint, right? Garcinio, welcome in. Uh, in any case, that is most of another 165k core... F K? No. 165 core frags per second. Um, which is going to help our Vitamelange quite a lot, I should think. Although what we've got is still a bit overbuilt. Part of why we built it this way was so we could have more spaceship throughput. But I think we're going to end up being able to trim this down a bit. Okay, how many... Uh, how many modules do we have? Another 26 prod 9s. Uh, and 15 speeds. Didn't I dump all the tier 9 modules in this block. I could have sworn I did. Is there like a requester holding them? Here it is. Oh! Okay. That's more than I was expecting. Mostly just because of the efficiency modules though. We're not as excited by efficiency modules. 68, 84, and 223. Uh, so we've got... 94 prods. Isn't it 96? If we want to fully prod one of these, 24 times 4, yeah. That might be the way to go. Full prod the core frags that are coming from Picard. And we get the most bonus out of the first step. One small build. Nice 94 prods, just the needed number for one small build. No. I, actually, uh, we don't need as many machines to keep up with Bombato. The thing is though, okay, I overbuilt this deliberately so that we could just trim down the number of uh, pulverizers that we need for each outpost. But big Vitamelange core frag planets spit out a lot of core frags. But, 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 when we go to tier 9 modules, uh, it's able to consume a lot, and I do mean a lot, but on the other hand, here's the thing. Um, we can calculate exactly how many core frags, like, Bombato is able to give us at the moment, and tune this build for exactly that. But once we get more mining productivity, eventually we're going to need another pulverizer. That's the only thing. But I'm pretty sure we could go ahead and full prod. Basically full prod Bombato. And probably still have a good few 
prod modules left over. Put this to tier 9 speed modules. Let's just double check. What, which, which outpost? Not that we couldn't just add drills to some of them, but which of our Vita outposts is fastest? Bombato has 21 drills for a total of 200 and let's just call it 240 core francs per second. Picard only has 16 drills. That's definitely less, 193. Uh, and of course, we haven't fully developed Bellerophon yet. And Moss Garden isn't even in the running. So what was it, 240? It's going to increase a little bit soon. 21... Wait, what? Wait, what? That's Picard. Yeah, 21 times this. 240 core frags per second. A little bit more once we finish mining prod. How many... Uh, where are we right now? Not even Foenestra? Okay. How many pulverizers does it take? With maxed out modules. To support 240. About the same number of drills we had, because that was 11 per second. 242 would be 22 machines. Uh, we have 24. Wow. What? Wow. So, if we keep going with the mining prod bonuses, Bombato as it is now, is actually going to more than satisfy 24 pulverizers with maxed out modules, eventually. Overkill, best kill? Indeed, indeed. Uh, but yeah, we could just get rid of, like, two of these pulverizers and make it all... Uh, make it all prod 9. Uh, but how does tier 9 Lamau that's that's not tier 9 what what what, what do you mean where's the tier 9 in this preset I guess there's some tier 9s in there let's just delete this um, can we make a new one? Delete everything. Pulverizer. Rod 9. Uh, beacon 2. Efficiencies and... 7... Uh, 13 speeds, 7 efficiencies, I think it is. And no, I clicked it. As a fraser, fraser, as a fraser. Start over, buddy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Too many damn clicks to fill out the remainder. And this is tier nine. Not Y9, tier nine. Why not full speed modules? Uh, two reasons. The ratio of what you get out of nothing but speed compared to speed and efficiency, uh, the machines are not that much faster. And also the ratio for how much power you're paying for the speed that you're getting is redonkulously bad. And power plants do cost something, like UPS. 
the other thing is when you make things so insanely fast, even with efficiency modules, it gets fast enough that it's hard for trains to keep up a lot of the time. So that's why not full speed modules. Alright, so we're on tier 9. Fantastic. Are we there yet? 2 minutes 46 to Hagen Orbit. Sad. I'm really looking forward to buffing this up. We should probably double check that our trains are keeping up. The fact that none of them are sitting in the parking lot or waiting to drop off up here does not inspire confidence in that respect. We might actually need to add more trains to Bombato. We've currently got only 50k core frags sitting in the stations. Um... None of them seem to be... Okay, wait. Let's do a search. Corfrag, Vitamelange, Storage. If any of these are like... Chockers. Then we definitely need another train. They all look to be very empty. This one's 4k. I think the... Limit that we put on these... Yeah, we have to have 4k for a train to start trying to pick it up. So that one's waiting for a train. There's only one of them that's got enough to have a train coming right now. So we must be on the razor's edge with barely enough trains here. The fact that there were no trains in the parking lot when we checked. And then there's exactly one station that's waiting for a train. Seems to me like it is pretty much perfectly tuned at the moment. But I definitely prefer to have like one train more than we need. So let's uh, let's bump up our standard to four. Or at least for the big big outposts. Was the electricity at 50%? Uh, no. We usually go negative 80% power consumption. Oh. Something took the modules out of this. So now it's way more than it should be, and it's super slow. Oh no. Why was this even... Oh, because there's... No? There's no construction bots here. It's in its own robot network. What? Who took out the modules? What? I... What? I'm so confused. The tier 6 prod modules are still in here. What? Are they on the ground? Why would they be on the ground? What the... Trichromatic bites? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, yeah, but typically what we do is negative 80% power consumption. And as fast as we can go with full prod. Um, we're about to get back to Hagen Orbit, so I don't really want to jump into the editor. Because we'll be trapped in the Shadow Realm. Uh, if it if if the ship anchors to a new surface while we're in the editor, bad things happen. Salavix, welcome in. I meant on Bombato looked like electricity production was too low. Okay, that's something we need to know about. Bombato. Oh. I say we wow. take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. That's alarming. It's the only way to be sure. 
Um, biters could get through. What's going on with our power? Where is Bombato? It's pretty far from the sun, and I just kind of didn't pay attention to the solar. It's 560 kilowatts per solar panel. 560 times 560 is 313,000 kilowatts. Um, yeah, 314 megawatt out of 6 gigawatt? Uh, that's not good. Where is the 6 gigawatt demand coming from? All the media defense installations wants to want to recharge, so they're drawing double. Um, space elevator is trying to send down two eighty seven megawatts. Yeah, two seventy three megawatt from coal mining drills. That doesn't sound right. It's twenty five megawatt each. Times 21. 525 megawatt for the drills. Five twenty-five megawatt. So we're not that short. So why does this say six point four gigawatt? I I I don't understand why the satisfaction is this low, but yeah, we should add more... We're going to have to add more um, solar panels to Bombato. Should probably double-check Bellerophon as well, but it's pretty close to the sun. Let's see. 2.8 gigawatt out of 900 megawatt. That seems fine. And what about Picard? Picard's far from the sun as well. Yeah, we did add more solar panels to Picard. Uh, let's see. Looks like it's on the razor's edge. Accumulator charge is actually hovering. Is it going down? It looks like it's very slowly climbing. But for it to be that steady and only 60% charged is a bit alarming. Alright, so we should probably add a few solar panels to Picard as well. But Bombato is a much bigger priority. But first, I really want to prod up that build downstairs since we're here. Um, teleporter would be quickest. Recharging took a toll? You mean the trains? They, they actually charge, the power packs charge super slowly. Um... Max consumption, 3.3 .3 megawatt per battery charging station. It's not very much in the grand scheme of things. Okay. There we go. Wait, I thought... I was counting the prods that were in that... Uh, let's go upstairs real quick. Let's go upstairs. Uh, before I forget, here's an example. We have a wide beacon pulverizer with prod modules, uh, with the minimum number of efficiency modules to get negative 80% power consumption. See, that's plus 600. We could get 100 kilowatts, 
not counting the beacon. For crafting speed 11. Or we could get crafting speed 18 for 24.5 megawatts. But it's not just that. Um, this one machine would spit out two and a half, more than two and a half stacks of iridite per second. So w with builds based on this, um, trains are going to be out of the question very, very quickly. Um, it's going to be, most builds are going to be way, way, way too fast for the trains to keep up. It's going to have to all be direct belts. Um, but also you do actually have to go and produce that power somewhere. And that isn't free in terms of resources or UPS. So that's why I prefer the efficiencies. Where am I going? That's the wrong teleporter. And the train isn't here right now. Oh my god. Okay, let's get the... Let's get the prod modules delivered this way. Go pick them up from here. And we'll have... Tier 9 modules requested over here. And then we'll bring them downstairs. Beep. And let's set you to wait for... Item count. Tier 9 prod. Greater than zero. And inactivity. I guess that works. There we go. Bring forth the prod modules. I see mini stutters constantly. How do your eyes feel? I mean... There's, there's nothing for it. I've tried... Like, say we have a UPS of 35 most of the time. Uh, I've tried setting the game speed so it'll be stuck on 30. So that it'd be more consistent. Uh, for some reason it doesn't work that way. Not sure why. What do we need? 20 prod nines? They'll be here soon. And 19 despair. Give me that. And... This little train can take us down to where we need to go. Alright, so we're gonna... Actually, I could send the construction train without me. I, I don't need to physically go there. Bombato is... Planet Orbit... 840. Yeah, we can do this remotely. And we need to go via Foenestra. And once it gets there, we'll just have the bots add solar panels. We do have bots, yes. Yes. Cool, cool, cool. No stuttering here, a little slow maybe, but the in-browser graphics are smooth. Yeah, I've noticed Twitch... No, not Twitch. I think people said it was OBS. Uh, something in any case. 
not just talking about smoothness as in consistency, but like um, games on Twitch look smoother than they actually play sometimes. I feel like the OBS or something is like maybe adding frames or I don't know what it's doing. Not a bad thing, though. Oh, we're here already. And there it is. Alright, so this can do uh, 242 core frags per second, which is slightly faster than Bombato can supply. Bombato might be faster than that once we finish mining prod 18. Even if we don't add drills at Bombato's end. Although, we know at the moment Bombato is not actually going to be supplying that Quickly because it's it's suffering from power problems and that's terrifying because as soon as we get medias hmm, maybe I should stop sending power downstairs yeah the trains won't have trouble because of that the drills will just stop if we're very lucky we haven't had any biters on Bombato come from medias yet. Much higher priority to recharge the media defenses. I wish we could just tell it to send excess power down the elevator. That'd be good. Obviously we could set up a power switch, but apparently power switches and separate uh, separate power networks are very bad for UPS. Which is weird, because it seems like such a simple thing. I wonder how long it's been like this. Hmm. Maybe the accumulator charge drained very slowly after we got above a certain threshold of core drills. That might be it. But I really want to make sure... Make sure this gets recharged before we get biters. This is like, okay, I'm done? Wait, what? Fish driver, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thank you, Veldak. Doesn't look like Factorio. It's space exploration. Okay, 40% recharged. Um, I don't think we can use factory... Factory search to find biters. It would still say biter threat 1% if a biter media had landed. Oh, I know. I know how we can check if there's any threats on Bombato. Uh, we can point... We can point uh, beams at... This is still running? What? We cleared Zahal, right? Yeah. Uh, it's not very effective, but we can point this at Bombato from ages away. And if we put it on Autoclave... And it finds biters. Okay. That's a little bit concerning, to say the least. Good thing we checked though. But once there are no biters to target it'll freeze the game for a second and then complain that there's no targets. Thank you for pointing out the power issues. Would not have liked to find out about it the hard way. There it is. 
Autoglave could not find any enemies. Emitter is switching off. It was only two little nests. Uh, and we didn't see the usual big stutter because I guess we didn't have as much area revealed. That's probably it. Okay, so Bombato Orbit should have still only 80% Defense is charged. Once they're charged, we'll just double check again that the autoclave can't find a target on Bombato. Where's the. How fast is this? ETA. Uh, we're almost at Foe and Estra, so we're basically halfway there. Cool, cool, cool. Time to call for extinction? We've already done it, so... It doesn't make a difference. Uh... See? No button to click. But yeah, with the... All of the Vidimlange planets have Bite Medias. So it'll say 1% instead of 0% when we declare extinction. It's not that the biters will actually regenerate from the planet itself. It's just if the biter meteors get through. I guess we definitely need more trains on Bombato. If we were having power issues and the trains were barely keeping up, then we're almost definitely train bottlenecked. Where are the trains right now? That's weird. Oh, you're waiting for core frags that aren't coming. Fair enough. That is not weird at all, actually. Alright. Now we've only got 19 prods for now. Let's go back to the mall. I think that's a worthy place to put our prod modules, though. Corf, uh, Vidimelange begets more, more prod modules. That's the main bottleneck. All right, I guess we can go ahead and design. Well, we could just steal from Picard for where we're going to put our extra solar panels. I kind of want to not include that. Oi. Yeah, that looks good. Tiles and Bombato Orbit right about here. And we'll land the ship down here. Maybe we should squeeze one of these in the middle. There is a middle spot for them. So something like what? Oh, rude. Something like this might not look too bad. Perhaps. I'm pretty sure we can land the 
Yeah, we can land the construction ship almost anywhere. It'll reach. One minute, 36 seconds still. All right. What shall we do in the meantime? Where's our bottleneck right now? Science is actually in motion, so it's harder to tell. Your SOAS trains? Space trains need better engines? What do you mean? We, we gave him better engines, right? Do you mean at Bellerophon? I'm pretty sure we were careful to give them the electric engines to boost their speed. Is that what we're talking about or something else? So slow? They're not that slow. Don't forget this is half speed. Okay, how fast is this? Uh, actually. Uh, can't see. Let's wait till it leaves. Okay. 300 kph, 400, 500, and 18, I think it capped at. I think it capped at 518. Although it could have maybe had more distance to accelerate with. That's pretty quick. Bellerophon's power is looking good. Thirty-six seconds to Bombato. We got the trains in white were called space trains. Oh, you mean spaceships? What? What about the? Oh, you mean this? This is deliberate. It's not a problem. See the. Antimatter canisters get consumed even if we don't need to by these uh, antimatter reactors. So we wait till the accumulator charge drops below 95%. Um, and then we put in, put in more antimatter canisters. Otherwise we waste antimatter just indefinitely. And a, lo a lot of it, because this is... Uh, each one of these represents a thousand antimatter, I think. Owen, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Antimatter canister to fill it is a thousand antimatter stream. And we have to loop a bit of thermo fluid. So to have this uh, overconsume antimatter canisters is not trivial. 518 divided by 2, so it's only 259. Wait, what? The faster the spaceship gets, you get bigger rocks to shoot at. Yes, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually a problem to go super fast. Welcome in, monster. Can I petition for you to install the Cogmas mod? It turns vanilla rocket silos into Christmas trees. Uh, maybe someday. Um, I don't want to mess with the mods or anything anymore with this run. Otherwise, I would have gotten rid of the fake trees. I, I just really don't want to take any unnecessary risks to break anything when we're this deep in. Please don't tell me we're going to end up with all of our construction bots resting over here. Maybe someday, maybe in two days, otherwise it'll be space age before you try it. I mean, yeah. Like I said, that's why I'm putting up with those trees that can't be marked for decon. Alright. 
This is probably overkill, adding three of these. And I'm okay with that. Bye bye bots, it was nice knowing you. I mean, we can bring them back, but... I, I want, like, just a small number of logi bots here. Okay, we, we can we can manage this somehow. Let's decon this. And then once it's empty, we'll undo. Please tell me there's room. Okay, undo. And then a requester. And then, wait, let's make that a filtered input. I don't mind if we leave a few construction bots here. In fact, we should. Logibot. And... I want... Forty logi bots. Preferably a little faster than this. Thirty one already. Okay, never mind. That's twenty. That's too many. That's way too many. Okay, we want 15. Let's go stack size 5. 1, 2, 3. Perfect. Delete that. Uh, I guess we can leave that there. It's fine. How's our power? Accumulator charge is climbing relatively quickly. Uh, let's send power downstairs. Cool. And let's double check once more that Bombato has no targets for Autoclave. Beam is switching off. Fantastic. Okay, so we have 1.1 gigawatt, wait what, hold on what, I'm confused, accumulator charge is climbing, we've got like 550, f the spaceship is connected, oh no, that's throwing everything off, uh, okay, don't tell me we're way underpowered still. Six thirty five megawatt out of six thirty five we're losing accumulator charge. Seriously? Oh no. We're sending five hundred megawatt down the space elevator. Five twenty eight on this end. And we're making five forty three for the whole place. So we need like one more of these. Ugh. In that case, I kind of want it to be off to the side. Like... Get rid of this. Shoo. Shoo. Okay. Like maybe here? Is that still going to be in range? Yeah, it is. Hmm. 
We're gonna be touching rocks. Who cares? We're gonna have the same problem again with the freaking RoboPod over here. God damn it. Please tell me accumulator charge is starting to go up. It's not. Because we haven't actually placed this here yet. And I don't want the one in the middle. That should be overkill. Double plus overkill. Casual f 200 or so construction bots sitting in here now. Uh, how's our power? Climbing? No? Serious? It, it's dropping. What? Really? How many solar panels do we have? 1.1k. 627 megawatt. Uh, seventy-two point two gigajoules. Seems like it's hovering. It, it's really hovering. No, it's going down. Oh my god. How are you so thirsty? It's probably just because we're far from the sun. Uh, okay. Fine. I'll put... Put this back, I guess. Robot charger also takes some energy. Uh, that's true, but what's the max rate for it? A hundred megawatt. Okay, that's not that much on on this scale, is it? Okay, how much is the robo using right now? It's already dropped to minimum, pretty much. Yeah, it didn't take that long. I think we should have the extra solar panels. Alright, surely that's enough. Okay, yeah, that's way more than enough. Get the accumulators charging again. And we're already sending power down the elevator. Cool, cool, cool. That is way too many construction bots. How about this? Logi. 50. Why are we bonking? Ship's hooked up. Oh. That's why it's charging so quickly. I'm pretty sure this is still enough though. Even though the ship's probably stealing some of the solar power. It's probably fine. Yeah, it's... it's visibly climbing. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Can we please get... these bots out of here? Actually, get rid of this as well. We need storage back here. Uh, now I can't put 
put it back with undo levels. Alright, Bombato. This goes here. How many lodgies are in here? Zero? That's actually kind of... No! Okay, no, that's perfect. 47 is fine. Stop it. That's way more than we need anyway. But below the threshold where they start to crash. Okay. Dust is good. Bombato is stable again. How many more solar panels and stuff do we have here? 260? How many is one of these? 140. And we should have plenty of accumulators still. Alright, let's go to... was it Picard? Picard was right on the edge, right? Yeah. I think we'll add one more set of solar panels at Picard. We can go straight there. Wow, that is full. Uh, what's Picard orbit? Planet Orbit 1076. And if we went there directly, it would take 25 minutes. Let's not do that. Cool. Alright, mission accomplished. Bombato has an awful lot of solar panels now. And it should have a significant surplus of uh, solar energy. Let's see. 706 megawatt. Uh, how much is on this side of the network? We're trying to send down 541 apparently. This says 525. I don't get it. 526 megawatt. Wait, what? No, that's from the space elevator. Core drill uses 525. Okay, and everything else is basically nothing. Um. So why does this say 500 and... Oh, because this uses 10 gigawatt itself. Okay, cool. Still, 541 still doesn't quite make sense. Anyway. Uh, our total consumption says 706. Why is that? It doesn't look like that adds up. 540 plus 80... 620 plus uh, the accumulators. Okay. Yeah, until they're charged, they're going to be saying that they're consuming 70. So really, we need like 620 and we've got 706. All right. All right. I think we're good. Check back once the accumulators are full. Yeah. Some of them are full, it's the new ones that are charging, so it's going to take longer than it normally would to charge another 26 gigajoules. Which means we shouldn't be... okay, not all of these are full, what the hell? Is it actually transferring from some of the accumulators to others? I don't think it does that. Maybe it does. They output way faster than they take input, though. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to take longer than it normally would. For the remaining charge. Alright. So our ship is uh, one-eighth of the way to Picard. Hmm. 
What can we do back at base? I wonder. God, it's good to see Holmium saturated again. Now we're starting to see ingots everywhere. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, what a lovely sight. Where's our bottleneck for science right now? Hard to say. Should we just wait till it breaks? It's probably... Probably going to be Nacrium Tesseracts again. When guns charge, they drop a little. Yeah, they use 50% as much power to simply maintain themselves as opposed to recharging. 20 megawatt when recharging. Uh, and you can see here, uh, 18 media defenses are costing us 90 megawatt. Huh. Wait, so it's only 5 megawatt each? To sit idle? Well, that's a much bigger difference. That's right, I wanted to potentially redesign Iridite. Whoops. So, if we assume we're going to direct belt the Iridite in, we're not going to have to worry about the trains with the tiny stack size. We're probably going to fit exactly the number of uh, pulverizers under the beacon as we had before, but maybe we can do something a little bit different with the, instead of a swap chest for the uh, iridite that comes out, I think I'd like to do something similar to what we do over here. Speaking of which, let's go fix this thing. Where's my red spider? Um, but yeah, we basically just have... This side is saturated in a similar way. But that's with the desired output, so I guess it's fine. Uh, yeah, basically we have output for the items that get recycled. Belt output, splitter, belt input. Input priority is the stuff that we're recycling. Or we can do something like where we do the Naquium plates. We've got a little little cycle thing here for the uh, heavy bearings. And the inserters are always going to be slower than if there's an item waiting here to, to be input. The loader is going to have priority over an inserter. We also did something similar to that, but different with um, the two the two machines that consume crushed naquitite. One consumes blue balls and outputs red balls, uh, and vice versa. We've got the inserters taking the balls from the belt, uh, and we've got loaders swapping the uh, the byproduct balls. So if there's red balls sitting here, they're going to get input before the inserter decides to pick anything up. So it has implicit priority. I was thinking of doing something like this for the iridite. Alright, let's clean up these belts. I'm pretty sure they only got this way because our sand output was blocked for a while on this one column. And we'll just put this back here. Just 
just need to make room for the recycling. That's a bit too fast. There we go. I saw a similar problem over here with the enriched, but that actually goes to an output, and that's our desired product, so I don't think that's a problem. Uh, and I thought I saw somewhere else... No, that was probably it. I'm pretty sure this is stable, and the only reason that we had that problem was because I accidentally blocked the sand output for a long time on this column. Uh, but yeah, I kind of want to, I kind of want to try redesigning this with, instead of chests with circuit swapping and stuff, we'll just use belts to swap them directly. Also, uh, redesigning it to fit tier 9 modules. Wow, we really squeezed this many in before? 24 on each side. Morning, in Noah. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Yeah, that is 24 on each side. With two and a half columns for belts on each side. Hmm. So maybe not like this? Might be an interesting challenge. Actually, I'm kind of curious. Can we pull it off in two or three... Two or three tiles between these? That might be very difficult. Okay, so each double column only spits out one belt of crushed, but also 23 of sand, so that's got to be more than, yeah, more than 90. That's probably not going to work. Except the crushed, no, never mind. I was thinking we could have, like... Iridite gets swapped like this, or something similar. Probably more like this, actually. And then we somehow try to squeeze in input-output in here. I don't think that's going to work. So probably have to do what we did with the old build in order to fit the belts. This one's all the way on the edge, right? Yeah. Hmm. This might actually be by far the most compact we can manage. It's erudite in. Individually, they're pretty slow. All the output goes to a chest, and then we filter the output. Hmm. Kind of want to do it without the swap chests, though. What's the rate for this again? It's slightly more than 90 out, right? That's a problem. 
Wait, how did we even fit? Oh, I see. I think this goes one tile further over, and then this goes here. Okay. So what if we have, like, two output belts? How much input do we need? Not much, right? Net 40 per second on each side. So less than one belt for the whole thing for input. I don't know if that helps much. Hmm. What if we used some belt weaving? Thunder's getting loud. Oh. Wow. Okay, the last couple of hours flew by. It's about time to finish for today. One sec. I just gotta let someone know. Uh, let's at least finish what we started with the solar panels here. A Picard orbit. We'll park right about here. We'll steal from Bombato. And I just want to add this one here. Which one's that? Okay, Picard. And place. How's our accumulator charge? I think it might be very slowly going back up already, but I'd much rather have the extra just to be safe. Not this again. Oh no. What if we just filter output the, uh, construction bots? Put them into a storage chest and then decon them. Then they'll probably get shoved in here. What a noise. The Logi bots are fleeing as well. As long as we have less than a stack left over, I'm fine with that. Uh, I do want more than one Logi, ba Logi bot back here though. Please. Two is kind of taking the piss. But I guess it's actually enough with the way these outposts work now. Oh, and there goes the wind and the rain. Let's go back to Hagen Orbit. Should probably finish up now. We actually had a pretty scary, uh, very, very, very sudden... Wait, I think we can go straight back to Hagen Orbit from here. Very, very, very sudden blast of wind and rain the other day. Uh, that was what knocked out our power for two days. Alright, let's find someone to raid. Save it. Who I is playing Factorio? Solovix would like a nuke? It's the only way to be right sure. when we're trying to finish? I think someone else wanted a nuke. I might have missed it. Yeah, it was Veldak. Sorry, Veldak. While traveling, let's look at Nalvis. Yeah. Alright, once it's finished saving, we'll squeeze it in, but we really need to get going. Okay. Who all is playing Factorio? Anyone doing the old SE? 
K2 in English. I see Deutsch. I see Deutsch. All right, I guess we'll drop in on Intertooth. It's been a while. Okay. Quick Nalvis. Very quick Nalvis. Let's go. Nuke number one is going to be the wall. Nuke number two is also going to be the wall. Fantastic. And... Nuke number two. Fantastic. Thanks for the stream. Thanks for hanging out. Owen, Veldak, Ian Noah, everyone else, including all you lovely lurkers. Uh, let me trigger the raid first. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And till next time, stay safe. See you tomorrow, guys. Unless, of course, we get knocked out again. Probably not. Adios.